Okay, we lost you just for a second. Like I said, this thing just, boom, all of a sudden has gone. If you're hanging in there, that means you came back. Let me know that you still see me. That other one's saved on the timeline. You can finish it up because uh, I do want to sign off with another song. But if you're still there, let me know. Anybody who's still watching their uh, Facebook page there and Wolf Driver, it got cut off just for a second. I just logged back on. So I'm still here. If you're still there, somebody can let me know if he's still there. That would be cool. I see one thumbs up. I don't know if that means anything or not. Flying across the screen. I'm Wolf Diddy. I don't see anybody yet. I see some hearts. I see some thumbs. If you get time, there, you go, sweetie pie. I'm watching. How you doing? Good. Are you? Were you there before? Or are you just on now? Because I just got cut off from. I've been on since 7:30. I've been on an hour, a little over an hour, and we got cut off. Betsy's back. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna play one more song here from um, this thing here. Um, Let's see what we got. I'm going to play Jessica. What can my mom do to stop her dog from digging in the garden? Wow. Go go ahead and, and email Dean, D-E-A-N, at dogcounselor.com, dogcounselor, one word, dot com. Tell him you've been watching his show. His show is on alldognetwork.com. Dean Miller, look at his previous shows, and go ahead and shoot him an email. Jessica's there. Good to see you, Jessica Maxwell. And he he's the he's the trainer guy. He can help you with that. Okay, Jessica, I recommend you do that. You know, I can't tell you myself because I don't know. I'm just being honest. I don't know about, it. but he can tell you. Or Joseph Falcone, either one. You go find them on AllDogNetwork.com. Information for them. Comment them. Uh, Mimi Zimmerman, hello. Do I know you? You're not Mike's related to Mike, are you? With Kenny? No. Maybe. Hello. Um, but that's that, that's what you want to do for questions of, regarding behavior and stuff like that. I don't have that problem with my Buster, so I don't know. He doesn't dig anything. Uh, no, you're not related to the. Okay. Just same last name. Mike Zimmerman is the drummer that plays with Kenny Rogers. I used to play with Kenny, and he's just in Nashville. It's all good. I'm glad you're with us. Um, I'm going to play a little a parody here. Um, let me see if we've got one that, that you'd like here, uh, that you might recognize this song. Let me just give me a second here. I'm scrolling through uh, SoundCloud.com. Go to SoundCloud.com and search Wolf Driver on the little search thing. You'll come up with all these tunes I'm looking at here, and you can go listen to all this material we've done about the dogs, especially his huskies, and you'll see all these logos about it. It's just, just interesting stuff about <laughs> the stuff, you know. I mean, it, it's so many pieces of material. What can I do to stop my dog from barking? She's barking for no reason. Maybe she enjoy that. Afnan says, again, go to email dean, D-E-A-N, at dogcounselor.com, dean at dogcounselor.com, or Jow, uh, that's the, try him, email him, tell him you've been watching the Wolf Diddy show for the Wolf Driver, and uh, see what he can email you back, and he can help you with that, okay, if you don't mind, that's the way to go. Um, bear with me. I'm just trying to find a cool song to end the night with here. Um, yeah, my my Buster barks like a lot when there's somebody outside, and basically I have to train him to just, you know, I I use the word gentle, chill, this command in the front of his face, stop, sit. Like sometimes at the door, he wants to be at the door first, make sure everybody's okay. No. You have them sit behind you and wait. Wait, you have to train them. And uh, these guys can, uh, Dean can help you with that for sure. Um, uh, he's just one of those guys that knows he's a professional dog trainer. And I recommend that. Let's see what this is.
Let me see. That was uh, something different here. Uh, what's interesting is we've got so many uh, different songs here that we can play. I'm just looking for one that you might enjoy. Um, Bear with me. Okay, this song here, this is original. This is about one of his huskies, the female. There's one female in the pack of four, Princess. And this is an unplugged version of Princess original. It's all about her. And she's a stubborn husky that needed to be tamed. Mine barks when he sees a crow. Maybe here in Maryland, and so is the wolf driver, Baltimore. He is my grandfather, go to bed. Mimi got two huskies and a female. Hard headed and stubborn. That's what the song's about. Please, my grandfather, go to bed. What does that mean? Aziz. Me? It's too early for me to go to bed. Hello from the Carlo. Hello from Nebraska. I'll see ya. I used to play gigs in Lincoln right across from the university. It's a club right there on the highway back in the day. So this song's about a husky princess, about he, how he trained his tart. Wolf Travis' first test was to teach her how to be free. He knows it sounds extreme, but that's what she would need. The leash would only confine her and be a negative reminder. North Carolina, cool. Diana's in San Pedro. I was just in LA today. Oh, you're like my father. Thank you. I knew it was a negative. Mimi in Maryland, yeah. Diana's in San Pedro. I go to Port Sacal on Wednesday night sometimes and there's a jazz jam with all my friends at the Port Sacal down there. I go there all the time and I'm in Laguna. So this song was about taming and training princes. He got her when she was four years young and she was a little stubborn husky that needed to be trained. When he was able to build trust, he could get rid of the leash first. Get rid of the leash. After they shed the leash, they were able I should to go more. through the heart yep. of the dream to run free and pull the car. Wednesday her nights, heart. they have that. Like 7 to 10. Happy hour's good too. Food, cheap, yummy.
Hi Debbie Singleton. Good to see you again. We got cut off the first hour at 8, 8.29, but we're back on for a little bit. The other show's posted, saved, so you can go back and watch tonight. It was the Aussie uh, Australian Cattle Dog was the breed. So that was about Princess, one of Wolf Driver's beautiful huskies. And we've written songs about all his dogs and all kinds of stuff over the last seven years. I produce music and so forth. This is about Hudson, one of his other dogs that has passed. Hudson came along. I'm going to play this too. This is a good one. Yeah, cool, Mimi. He wanted to share this incredible life and take another husky to fight. Took another husky in Hudson. Add him to the pack. Hello from Chicago, Steve. Rush Street. In the day, used to play music up. That was the place to go. It probably still is. I'm from St. Louis originally in Nashville. My dad's from Chicago. Went to the University of Chicago. Small world. Thanks for joining us. Hudson came along. Second loving husky. Great names, Mimi. Ayasha and Kuski. Great names. I have three little dogs, too. Wow. Five of them. Five together. See, you have three dogs. Duke, Rosebud, and Oliver. Great. I had one called Oliver once, a small dog. Cool. Wolf Driver was going to acquire a shackle cart to help the pups learn the art of dog smarts and how to pull with their weight and train their game. At the time, the shackle cart was the real deal. And main wheels to train dogs to pull, and the commands they need to understand the direction to proceed. This car design was lightweight and could accommodate most adult riders. Even two people could ride and drive at the same time. It also hooked up to the dogs at four points on their harness, which is the smartness that would help maintain them as you train them, so they will stay in the right position. Understand their mission. It's that dog Springer I'm talking about. Hooked up four up to the cart. Hi, Allie. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, and by the way, this shackle cart was one of my greatest additions to all of my dog related acquisitions. So, what he did, I just cut that out. 
what he did was design these Sacco carts, which are like a cart, like a go kart, big ones with four big wheels, where they could hook. The, he could hook the dogs on the side. Hi, pops. I told you lately that you're the best dad ever. Thank you so much. I don't know about that, but I appreciate that comment from my daughter there. She's so kind. Um, so he hooks up the dogs to the sacco cart on these bike springers. So if you go to bike springer, look it up on Google, you'll see what these things are. You can get one for yourself. I use one from our buster when I ride him. It hooks up under your seat. You ride him on this little springer thing on the side, just like he does the four on his sacco carts. And they pull him on the sacco cart. He also has an electric motor. If they're going uphill, the dogs get tired. They need a little slow it down. he got pedals. It's amazing. Wolfdriver.com, you see all this stuff. Alldognetwork.com. Alldognetwork.com, you see these adventures. These videos are all saved, just like these shows are saved to review. Uh, Mimi says, Mimi Wiener Dog. Mini Wiener Dog, okay, Dachshund. The Dachshund Show for the Wiener Dog is on there. Look up my show on the Dachshund Breed. Go to alldognetwork.com. You'll see that show. It was one of the first shows I did. I think it was the first one. Jack Russell. I think I have a, one of those on there with a mix and a miniature pinch art mix and a Yorkie poo chihuahua mix. I do a chihuahua shows on there already. Can I ask where do you live your life? We're in Southern California, Laguna, Laguna Niguel it's called. It's like near Laguna Beach, little inland, 10 minutes in. Southern California, Orange County they call it. Um, we're very blessed to live here, actually, because, I mean, it's it's a very good climate, I mean, year-round, other than this huge fire they have up north, which is out of control. We get our fires. It's sad, but they'll put it out, hopefully. Um, so all this music is existed. Sound, SoundCloud.com, Wolf Driver, plug in, search, and you'll see all these tunes. I mean, I'm scrolling through them. There's hundreds. We've done so much material um, together all about the dogs and mostly his adventures and so forth. His meditation music. There's music for dogs to relax, quiet stuff. I've done tons of like soundscape music. So all this stuff, musically, poetry. Now if you go to wooftunes.com, that's another site where it has all these songs plus videos of these songs, of a lot of these songs, and poetry reads and did all the ditties are on there about the breeds and so forth. I'm from Tunisia. Pleasure to meet you. Same as well. Night in Tunisia. We play that song, Jazz, in San Pedro at the uh, Jazz Jam. Every, they always play Night in Tunisia. It's a hard one. Uh, I have one cat, too, Mimi says. Boomer. He's 16 years old. Wow. He's hanging in there. We had a we had one cat we rescued from uh, would have got run over one night. Milo he he brought him to the woods in Scotts Valley, which is Santa Cruz, before we moved down to Southern California. He lived to be twenty one. You know I quit giving him any shots like when he was like a year after I got him I quit giving him all that cat cancer stuff and the rabies and everything. We lived in the woods naturally. He just lived that long. So yeah, cats are long timers. He just died of old age. He just got tired. I'm done. Didn't have to do much for him to go to sleep. But that's wonderful. So, all these things are happening with these dogs and these adventures. Uh, so I'd say go to alldognetwork.com. Alldognetwork.com. You get a load of these shows. We said live video shows we've been doing for about a month of all the different hosts and what they do. Wolf News, training to trainers. Doga, which is dog yoga. This gal, Susie Teitelman in Jacksonville, Florida, does this. <laughs> it's incredible. She's got these two dogs. You see what she does. It's like, really? Massage, yoga. They do the, the, the mantra with her. The whole thing. It's just really cool stuff. You know, you learn what you can do with your dog to relax them and become more one with them. And all this love that exists. It's just pretty amazing stuff. So tomorrow night... We're going to sign off because I don't want to get cut off again. Sometimes the signal disappears. If a jet goes over, it just goes off. And we have to start over. Enjoyed your Shiba. You, Steve was on the Shiba Inu show. Great. We were on the Shiba Inu channel, which, again, is one of Wolf Driver's 
breed channel specifically for the Shiba Inu uh, the other night, and we did two two nights of that to change channels because if you clog up this Facebook thing, yeah, Boomer has not had a shot since four years old. His indoor cat, mine was actually mostly in, but we were out in the woods where there's all kinds of you know you name it. Milo wouldn't stray though; he'd just stay on the deck, you know, and right around the house. So you're right. I mean, it's all good. It's all good. Um, thanks, Steve, for that. We're going to go back on the Shiba Inu show channel. Um, I'm trying to get the Wolf Driver to set up a like a Netflix uh, guide, like Dog Flicks guide on AllDogNetwork.com, where it shows the scheduling of the shows, what channel we're going to be on. Because I disappeared from the Wolf Driver channel here for three nights when we did. We, because what happens is the signals it gets. To, Facebook has their own way of doing things about how much space you can use how I mean I've been on a long time tonight uh, an hour plus another hour, half hour now the second login when we got cut off you can watch the first hour there it's in the timeline you can see it just play it um, and all that thing um, but we move we're going to be moving around a little bit uh, last night I did it I, and I, we skipped last night just to clean up the server so you know Facebook I think we're clogging it up and taking up too much space and they have their own way of doing their analytics, which means, you know, keeping track of how much ones and zeros and you're using on the digital network here uh, on their servers. So we have to we want to be careful not to lose our grip. We have three cats. Betsy says they live in the garage most of the time. The oldest is 12. Her name is Chessie. Very cool. In the garage most of the time. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully they get out and get a little sunlight and get a little vitamin D for them. I'm sure you figure that one out. It's all good. It's all good. Everybody has to just love their, their animals, cats and dogs and whatever the case, you know. And um, what we might do... Now, y'all, if you can, go ahead and join Wolf's Gang. It's a site, the, you know, Wolf's Gang, which is uh, Facebook. W-O-O-F apostrophe S, second word, gang like our gang, Wolf's Gang. It's a, it's a group site where you join up, log in, get your thing, whatever, how you join those sites. And you can post pictures of your dog, your cats, whatever, tell us who you are, where you are, what you, what you want to say. Just become part of that family and then share all this stuff with all your f Facebook friends. Oh, yeah, they did get out when we have a, f a doggy door. Cool, cool, cool. Cats are cool. They know what's up. They know what's up. They're very smart. Uh, and then share all this stuff. The more you share with more people and they get on to what we're doing here, uh, the more we're going to be able to get, hopefully, um, a bigger picture sponsorship so we can actually be on without getting cut off and we can use as many program channels as we like. So it's just the way. It's a new thing with Facebook, Internet technology here with the live streaming, and we're going we're gonna to keep a hold of it because we've got great people out there watching this already that are in the same space we are. They love their animals. Okay, Might get horse people on soon. Goat, it doesn't chickens. It doesn't matter. It just gives you a different kind of love and outlook on life and how what they do for you and how they make you feel and the way you should be, you know, the way to be. So it all teaches us lessons and keeps us grounded with love. Because love is the first thing that lasts forever over anything else, whether you're spiritual, whether you have, you know, God in your mind, whatever. But the love is what lives on. When we all go somewhere else after this life's over, the love is what remains and will remain forever and ever and ever. So same with our dogs, you know. I mean, when a dog loses his owner before the owner loses the dog, so to speak, through old age. You know, they're always, the owner's always on the dog's mind. Well, where's my owner? Just like, inversely so. You know, if you lose, you've lost your animals before. I mean, I'm not a preacher. I'm just saying, you don't forget about them. They're always with you. They've taught you lessons of love and how to be, however you define that. That's the way I see it. That's the way I feel it. And I'm not the youngest guy in the world. So, it works for me. We love our Buster. He gives us so much joy. And, you know, I know that uh, Crush and Allison and Rama, uh, friends, dog friends of hers, 
and relatives, dog relatives and friends. Um, they mean a lot, and you just know how to be with them and take care of them. So we're going to sign off now with a little group, but I just want to say I'll see you tomorrow night. They grieve just like we grieve. Exactly. Exactly. Truth couldn't be more of the truth. Mimi, we appreciate everybody's on. Betsy, Mimi, everybody's on tonight. Um, you know, I, we just really appreciate your viewing. Come back and see us tomorrow night. I'm going to be on Wolf Driver tomorrow night. If for any reason I'm not, Wolf Driver page will post that I'm not on Wolf Driver's side. Go to Shiba Inu. Might go to the Snow White Huskies. But for now, we're going to be on Wolf Driver just like we are now. Tune in. We're going to have a new breed tomorrow night. I don't know when I'm going to be. I'm going to fool you with that one. Peace. Cynthia, Cynthia Hellman. Yes, I, I think I know you. Good night, Steve. I'll see you. We're going to kick it out of here with a little uh, one of these songs here. Keep hugging those puppies, man. Hug your pooch. Fresh water, fresh food. Nice place to rest and sleep. Comfy. A lot of exercise. We love y'all. Thanks for a great night, Betsy. You as well. Thanks for being here. So long. I'm going to hit it now. Good night. I get a break from work. I'll see you tomorrow, Mimi says. Like I said, if you can't make the show, it'll be posted on alldognetwork.com the next day or so. It'll also be on the timeline on this here, saved. Automatically saved. When I hit finish... You'll see this show and the, where we got cut off the first show. You can go back and watch them. So if you can't make it, you get home, just go to Whoop Driver. You'll see it there. You know, it's going to get further and further down, but it's there. So you're not going to miss anything. What's cool about this? It saves. Good night. 